In this video, we'll do an exam review of the osmotic and secretory diarrhea and we'll compare osmotic diarrhea with the secretory diarrhea. The osmotic diarrhea features are with red color and that of the secretory diarrhea are printed in a blue color. So osmotic diarrhea is due to unabsorbed nutrients in the stool or steatoria. Whereas in secretory diarrhea, there is increased water and electrolyte secretions by the toxins or vasoactive intestinal peptides in the intestinal lumen. Osmotic load causes fluid retention in the bowel. Whereas in secretory diarrhea, there is net inhibition of sodium or water absorption. The stool volume in osmotic diarrhea is less than 200 ml a day and the stool volume in secretory diarrhea is more than 200 ml a day. The osmotic diarrhea is relieved by fasting whereas secretory diarrhea is not relieved by fasting. The stool sodium is 30 in osmotic diarrhea whereas it's 100 in secretory diarrhea. So this is the main difference. The sodium is more in secretory diarrhea. 100 whereas stool potassium is 30 in the osmotic diarrhea and it's 40 in secretory diarrhea and the formula to calculate the osmotic gap in the stool is 300 minus 2 into sodium plus potassium in the stool so if you take the figures of sodium and potassium in the stool 300 minus twice the sum of sodium and potassium so if we Put these figures of sodium and potassium in a stool in this formula is 30 plus 30 times 2 120 300 minus 120 it's 180 so it's more than 50 milliosmoles whereas if you take the figures of sodium and potassium from the secretory diarrhea and put it in here so that is 100 plus 40 140 times 2 it's 280 so 300 minus 280 will be less than 50 milli osmols per kg is less than 50. So the stool osmolality, stool osmolality is hypotonic in osmotic diarrhea and is isotonic in the secretory diarrhea. And the stool pH is less than 5 in the osmotic diarrhea and it's more than 6, more alkaline in the secretory diarrhea. 